song came to my head. Here we are again on my knees. I think that's some sort of, here we are again. I don't know. Anyway, it's cleaned up now. I don't want to bother too much cleaning it, but I want to get it all cleaned so that I can uh, start to jigsaw puzzle this back together and use it nice and clean inside. On the other side, I had to go pretty fierce. So it's all flat. I think a little bit of, that's just dirt. That's come away. Uh, this had to be taken off completely. I hoped that I ha wouldn't be able to have to do that, but I had to take it off to get on the, the red stuff had got underneath the edges there, so I had to take them away. I'm gonna try and get as flat as possible. So that's all cleaned up and ready to do whatever I'm gonna do to it, whatever I am gonna do to it. I did a little bit of oil on those pieces of wood because they're extremely dry and the fretboard. I, this might sit for another couple of months before we finish it, so I thought it might be as well to do that. So that's all, some little bits of tidying up. And then I cleaned up all the pieces and there's all the pieces cleaned up except for that one. It's so fragile. I'm hoping I won't have to use but we'll see. Now the idea for me now is to glue this back down again, this this crack, this strut that's been wrecked, and I'm going to use the other camera and uh, give me two hands, okay, and my Pepsi Cola Max, because somebody was quite upset the other day that I had ginger. <laughs> So what I'm going to do now is pretty simple, actually. I'm just going to stick some tight bond in that and then put a clamp on it. Now I don't have a clamp that will go in right to there, so I'm having to be a little bit creative. So I'm going to push the tight bond in. If it'll, yeah, there we go. Lift it up. I don't want to take it off. I've already made sure that it's... Uh, It's clean in there, no foam or anything like that there. Yeah, of course I'm using too much. I'm going to put some along there too, and there. But I'm using too much, but it's going to come off again. Right, okay. Let me just see. Yeah. Okay. Close that up. Put it back. And get that paintbrush in there in the cracks in there get it inside there get it on both sides and i don't there isn't any cracks here so but i don't know why i'm doing that but anyway that's not there's this is all pretty solid believe it or not clean up that glue now the excess glue the clamp it is put a little bit of wood there and put a clamp on this side there's a tiny strut there so I'm going to put the clamp like that and it'll hold there's a strut there giving me strength from the other side so that I don't put too much and I'm going to put this strut here which is touching against that strut so I loosen this off and you can see the just to get an equal balance I'm not actually going to put too much pressure on this at all. It's just to get that down. And as you can see, it's doing a very good job. It's bending the guitar this way, so that's why I can't put too much pressure on. But it, all the pressure is going there, which is enough for me. I don't need any more pressure than that. Uh, just tag it the, the squeeze through. And as you can see from that gap there, that's right and tight. In the next part, once this is dry, give it 24 hours to dry. The next part is putting the jigsaw puzzle together. And what I've noticed is that it's all bent out of shape. Uh, I haven't even tried these yet, but when I, when, I, when I put them on, I think you'll find that this is pushed down. So what I might have to use is some tape, just like they did 
some gaffer tape or something like that to get it into shape first and then glue these bits pieces back together and see what's missing and then make a decision on what we're going to do next so let that sit have a drink of my coke here so let me be the first to wish you a merry christmas and off we go as i was tidying up i noticed something that the ends have come away from these struts uh, the pressure there must have forced the body down so that i could see that better so I have put some glue in there and I'm just going to put a little clamp at the ends here to, to hold the very ends of the, the seat. Look, I didn't spot that whenever I had it on the first time because it looked to be down tight. But that will give me a little bit of that bend that I was telling you about that's in the bodywork. And it might save me having to use just as much sellotape to get it back into position again. So I'm going to hold, hold that down and the other one down. Now, I've got to figure something out for that one because that one's got a little bit of glue beneath it too. I don't have any more clamps. So. Right, okay. Gaffer tape. Just love gaffer tape. So I think you know what I'm going to do. A little bit of gaffer tape around the handle once I squeezed it and it will hold it in. And look at that. It's a makeshift clamp and it's doing a beautiful job. Only needs to be like that for 30 minutes or so. Now well, I'm happy I can go away now. I should have spotted that earlier though. Where's my little brush and I'll tidy it up. On camera. Just tidy it up in there. Spread these so they don't sit in blobs. Right, okay. Should have spotted that. I wonder why I didn't spot it. I suppose I was too busy looking at the the damage a nuclear bomb did to it and not looking at the edges when I should have done. No excuse. I shall smack myself twice tonight. Okay, that just gives it a little bit. Alright, off again. Just a quickie to take off the... It's what? 12, 14 hours since I did this, maybe longer. So I removed my clamp. <laughs> and I'm not going to push it too hard to let it sit for another while. Well, that's really loose anyway, so that's fine. Tighten it up. You know, keeping tidy is one of the hardest things I find to do. I try, I try, but it always seems to be a mess. I put this away. Not so loose, which is good because I didn't want to put any pressure on it. So it was just enough pressure. So I'm happy that can go away. As I said, I'm not going to swing on this because I'd like to give it 48 hours, but those are all nice and down flat. And that seems to have helped a bit. But the next stage will be putting this jigsaw, tacking it, maybe even just using tape to tack it in the first instance. And uh, we'll do that later. Okay, let's play jigsaws.
because it's all hanging on the one little bit. Right, now this bit here... Looks to be somewhere around there maybe, but I can't guess. So if I put that on next, which would be... Is it there? I don't like this. I don't like doing this. Alright, okay, it's gonna go there. side to give me an idea. Okay. And that's actually sitting on that. Which gives it a bit more strength. And now he says that there's no collapse. So where do you go? Do you go even further in? Or do you go there? I don't think you have to look, but I couldn't be bothered enough to look. Just let me just see. Do you go there? No, you don't. So you've got to go around there, haven't you? Up the ghost. Oh, it's starting to come away. Do I have to use gaffer tape on you? I got a feeling it might go there. But I'm starting to lose the tackiness of that tape. Somewhere. That goes, goes there. And it goes there to hold that. That goes there to hold it. 
the edges don't match exactly because of the uh, glues and the things and all the things I had to scrape off. No caller ID. I don't answer calls with no caller ID. It could be a local MP, but the local MP knows if he wants to ring me that he has to text me first. But I understand, but he doesn't ha have caller ID on because he'd be tortured to death by local residents. Oh. Right, okay. Now, well, that looks hopeful there. Yeah, that looks hopeful there. I'm actually not going to force that to stick in there. Let's just see what... Yeah, I'm left it there. So look how much is missing. That's all I have left, and there's nothing there. And there's nothing there. There's no more bits left. I don't remember that bit being missing. But it has to be missing, because I have that the door in there. It must have been tape or something holding it together. So now I've got to figure out a way to replace the missing bits. Uh, this, is, this, 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 I think I did break something up here, so that will go there. That will go there. I'm putting in there so I know what I have. And I think my next step would be to... Let me just put that around. That will go there. Yeah. I'm not going to be fussy about it, sticking that there. My my next step would be super gluing these joints just to get the shape more solid. Super gluing what I have in place and then stepping back once it's in place and, and, and relatively solid. I'm not saying it will be solid, but relatively solid. Then I can see what I can do about making up the rest. Okay, I need some thinking time, so I shall... Might might get away with a little band of wood around there, bending it around. We'll, we'll see. Okay. I put this piece of white here so you could see, because I know a camera wouldn't be very, able to, very good to see. So that bit's going to go there. Right. I'm going to take it apart and put it in place. That's going to go there. Where we got here. Okay, and that bit's gonna go there. So that bit goes there. And that bit goes there. And a little bit I might be able to stick together before I throw on the guitar. Alright, okay. Leave those two in place. And you'll probably go on last. Down, down there. And this guy here. Right, so. Got a feeling, do, 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 do. Yeah, okay. Leave the singing to the professionals, Austin. Let's just take that off. I wonder what super glue is going to do to this. Is it going to drive me nuts? I think there's a... Because I had to scratch all the edges away, you see, so it doesn't fit 100% perfectly like a piece of broken glass or anything like that there. It's, it's sort of... So, and also it's like a thickness of a chocolate Easter egg. And there's thickness, because I had to sand it and scrape it, it's thinner in one bit and other bits. But I'm not fussy, because what if I get the body shape in and I get some strength to it, then I'm going to do something over the top of it all to make it look better. So I think that I only have... What do I do? Do I put that on with tape and then soak it with super glue and press it? I think I do. I think I do. I think that's what I do. Because that will keep it in position better. If I put it on with tape first, a bit at a time, that feels good there.
fumes from the stink. But I think I've got a little bit lucky here. This bit fits perfectly here. That over there is fine. This here is just a bit too heavy. If I could only find something just to hold it up. And as he speaketh, his words come as true as. Right, okay. Now, while I do that, I'm going to put some more glue in here to try to fill up the gap that you can't see because it's black and the red light's flashing. So. I'll do this quickly and hopefully the glue will hold on there and the red light's flashing on the camera saying I'm nearly out of right okay I'm nearly out of super glue too and I've got well luckily I've got a few bits more right okay red light flashing it's down to 15 percent okay well I think that's going to be enough I'll put a new battery in Little by little by little by little by little. If you don't know Dusty Springfield, you should look her up. She had an amazing voice. But this is going on little by little by little. I have that tacked in the position, but it needs to have some more strength. So I've got a bit of maple here, which I rough, roughly have shaped into, and it's going to go there and strengthen that piece and glue from there there to strengthen that piece and get that body into alignment and get this into shape now that's only the first piece of maple i'm going to put on that i'm probably going to put another piece of maple there underneath but this one here i'm just going to glue that slather it with glue and stick it on there and put a clamp on it i'll come back to you when i've done that the battery's low and i want to get it all on okay red light flashing away that is now clamped, but that needs to go in. So I'm going to use a bit of my favorite, pull it in and then do it that way, which will hold it in. Now that needs to be just uh, some glue put into the cracks there. Uh, I think it's just about the right level. Yeah, it's all just about the right level. I don't think we're going to get a crazy correct. Uh, but uh, I'm going to put a little bit more glue here and brush it in. Oh, <laughs> it helps if you open up the glue cover. Right, okay. Just a bit of glue there. Push it in with a... Where's my... Do you know... What have you done with your... I don't want to use my finger. I had a brush there a second ago. 
Georgia girl, I'm not shouting at you. I just had a brush in my hand there a second ago and I can't find it now. Now I'm going to work this in with my finger. Well, luckily it comes off nicely, but it's going to have to work in with a finger into there. Now, am I happy that... Am I happy? Let me just check that. No, I'm not quite happy. So I'm going to have to use my makeshift pliers again. Am I? No, I'm not. How am I going to get that? Oh, I'm going to have to use a white helmet. Right, that's in the right position. And that's folding properly. That's almost in the right position. Well, let's just see. A white. Oh, that's doing it. Right, okay, that is doing it. All right, okay. Next round when that's dried. Right, I just thought I'd time to publish this because it's getting too long and too lengthy. And I need to go away, moth. Go away, moth. Uh, just get it up there and then, because this won't be 45 minutes, it'll be 45 hours. So it's all pieced together with super glue. Uh, you could play it now if you wanted to. <laughs> no, you couldn't actually. So what I've done is I put the piece of wood there, as you saw, which has given that strength, that whole thing strength. That is still not there. It's still not touching the body anywhere. So the only thing I... That's probably why they put cement in there, some sort of sticky glue cement on the face of it and everything. So when I've finished, I'm going to make it touch the sides and I'm going to flood it with epoxy uh, gap filler and glue and that will get that solid. Now the next stages I'm going to, even though it's not going to be cost effective, I'm going to do it for my own sake. I'm going to buy some epoxy uh, fiberglass or linen, one or the other two, and, and mold and shape. Uh, I don't have any piece for that. That piece is missing. It's also a curved piece, so that's going to be fun trying to reproduce that. Uh, this still has to be stuck down a bit. The whole back will have to be sanded. I just finished putting a little last piece there and it's going to be glued and I'll take that tape away. And what happened? <laughs> I, I got my super glue out. Can you see my super glue? You're right. Why does the light seem to be blinding tonight? Anyway, I got my super glue out, took the, took the lid off it and set the lid down didn't realize a nozzle would come out with a lid and it just poured all over the place and all over my hands and everything so I managed to use it and then I put it all back together again and promptly forgot about it I didn't take the nozzle let me just show you what I mean so you don't sit because you understand when I took that off it came out that way are you going to are you going to go into the focus here or what yeah, you can see the lid's not on it. The actual thing stuck inside. And when I tipped it sideways accidentally, before I even got using it, spliced it all over the white cover and everything. Is that cursing? So then I went back to doing a little bit of work and tidying it, and I decided to put that bit on. And I forgot again about the fact that that nozzle's jammed inside. So I took it off again and accidentally spilt it all down the side again. So my head's not in the, the, in the right pattern here. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to publish where I've got so far and then uh, figure out about how to fill in this gap and what to figure out about that gap. And that'll be in the next part of this exciting series. Okay, ciao. I'm going to clip this because this is too long. Oh, update, update, update. I was just about to go and uh, publish this video. But look what I found. Another jar with some bits in it. So, I'm going to have to try and patch these, all these bits together. Remember that was inside the guitar, that piece of wood. So, I didn't realize there was two jars I filled up with this. So, I'm going to have to scrape these and see where they fit and where they belong and get them in there. So, I'm not finished yet. 